image was added then let's add the second one the third one the fourth and finally the fifth okay cool so now when we enter the id let's for example enter to fetch here you go five one two hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial and today i'm going to show you how to save an image to a database or load it from the database using c sharp so we'll be using microsoft sql server as our um, database provider so we're going to connect to our server but first of all i want to copy the server name because we're going to need it later on uh, in the visual studio so i'm going to copy this and then hit connect and right click on databases we're going to create a new database i'm going to call it image db and then when you expand databases and image db and right click on tables and click on table to create a new table basically it's going to have two fields only one for the id so it's going to be int and the other for the image itself it's its type is going to be image okay so we're going to right click on the id set it as a primary key and properties expand the identity specification double click on is identity so basically what this is going to do is it's going to auto increment the id when we add a new image okay so now we're going to save our table let's call it image table and click ok all right so now we're done with our database let's move on to our visual studio so here i have a project so here i have a project uh, and this is my form i have a couple of buttons two picture boxes a okay so basically what we're going to want to do is when we click on load we're going to load an image to this picture box and when we click on add we're going to add the image to our database and then when we specify an id for the image and click on fetch it's gonna fetch this image from the database and just put it in this picture box okay so first of all we're gonna double click on load button okay and we're gonna type open file dialog i'm gonna name it od equals new open file dialog od.file name equals an empty string od.filter then we're going to add our filter let's make it supported images okay and we're going to add the jpg semicolon jpeg and semicolon png for example we're going to support only those types okay if od.show dialog equals equals dialog result dot okay then the user click on the okay button after he uh, chose the image then picture box one load and then we're going to give it the file name which is od file name okay okay so uh, now we're gonna double click on the add button but first of all we're gonna be using using system data sql client and using system dot io okay so what we're gonna do first is get our connection string which is basically uh just a string indicate parameters of the connection with our database so in order to do this we're gonna go to the server explorer and right click on data connections click add connection 
okay and then we're gonna choose our data source which is Microsoft SQL Server and then click continue and in the server name we're gonna paste the server name that we copied before and then we're gonna choose our database which is MHDB I'm gonna test the connection if it's okay then we're gonna click OK just give it some time to load okay so now in the properties we have the connection string so we want to just copy this connection string and create a variable here let's call it string connection string equals and between double quotations we're gonna paste the connection string and we just want to add a backslash here to escape this character okay so we're good so this is our connection string so what we're gonna want to do now is create our um, SQL connection object so SQL connection we're gonna call it con equals new SQL connection and then we provide the connection string connection string and then SQL command I'm gonna name it command is equal to con dot create command command dot command text so basically this is gonna be our query is gonna be insert into image table and what we want to insert we want to insert our image basically and then values and then we're gonna provide our parameter so our our image we're gonna put it in the parameter that's called at image okay and we have to define this parameter so first of all we we have to convert the image to bytes array because it's stored as bytes array in the database so I'm gonna create a variable var image and it's gonna be equal to new image converter dot convert to and then we're gonna give it our object which is actually picture box one dot image and then the type that we want to convert to which is type of byte array and then we want to add this image to our parameters for the SQL query so command dot and dot parameters dot add with value first of all we're gonna provide the name of this uh, parameter so we're gonna call it at image and then we're gonna give it the object itself which is image okay okay so far so good now we wanna execute the query so we're gonna call the function command dot execute non query so basically this returns um, one if it's successful so we're gonna want to check if command that execute non query is greater than zero then message box dot show image was added else message box dot show image was not added and then we're gonna close our connection conduct close and we should have opened the connection so right after this line we should type con dot open to open our connection okay so that's it for adding the image to our database now we're gonna double click on fetch button and we're gonna type SQL connection con equals new SQL connection and we're gonna give it the connection string and SQL command is equal to con dot create command and con dot open command dot parameters dot add with value It's at ID, we're gonna call it at ID and it's gonna be the ID 
uh, it, it's going to contain the ID that we want to get the image for. And basically, this ID is stored in text box one dot text, right? So text box one dot text. Command dot command text is equal to select asterisk from, and then we're going to give it the name of the table, which is image table. where id is equal to add id okay in order to read the rows that result from the query we have to use an object of sql data reader so sql data reader i'm gonna call it reader is equal to command dot execute dot execute reader okay since we know that this is only one line, so we don't have to loop over the rows uh, that come out from this, this query. So we're, we're going to check if there is any row. So if reader.read, so what we're going to want to do is create a memory stream. So memory stream, I'm going to call it stream, is equal to new memory stream and then we're going to give it our the uh, the uh, the byte array that is stored in the array that is stored in the database so to get this we're going to type reader dot get byte get sql bytes okay and then we're going to give it the index of the column that contains the the uh, the bytes basically which is going to be one because index zero is the id and index one is the image okay dot buffer all right the next step is to convert this stream into our image object okay so we're gonna type picture box two dot image is equal to image dot from stream and we'll give it our stream and then we're gonna close our connection con dot close and we should be done let's test this out okay so I'm gonna load an image in pictures I have avatars I have some avatars so we're gonna load the first one image was added then let's add the second one the third one fourth and finally the fifth okay cool so now when we enter the id let's for example enter two fetch there you go five one two we put seven for example then it's not gonna do anything because we don't have any rows that have id7 okay so that's it guys for this tutorial and thanks a lot for watching